The state is dealing with a shortage of teachers, but has the pandemic made it worse? The state's top education official says it has not. And tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is fact checking that claim. Catherine Truitt says the numbers so far show COVID hasn't had an effect on how many teachers our state still needs. We do not have any data right now that tells us we have any more of a teacher shortage than we did prior to the pandemic. In a statement, DPI spokeswoman Blair Rhodes says there doesn't appear to be abnormally high vacancies across the state. She says this year's numbers won't come in until October, but the most recent ones at the state level show the shortage doesn't appear out of the ordinary. The vacancy rate is 1.7 percent. That usually falls between 1 and 1.5 and percent by late September, and the average attrition has been between 7,000 and 8,000 in each of the past three years. Wake NCAE President Kristen Beller says COVID made those existing vacancies even tougher. The pandemic is a challenge in itself, um, but when you are working in a building where there's a teacher shortage, um, it is going to be significantly harder. Rhodes says some districts do have more openings than others. Charlotte Mecklenburg schools with nearly three times as many as they did in 2019. I think when, when you get into you know, who has it worse? Is it okay for any of our counties to be lacking qualified educators in classrooms? Does it matter if one county, you know, has X number of physicians vacant and another one has Y? My Story Online has a link to the state's report. It has those vacancy rates for every county. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.